Hello my friends. Do you know what we lack in Estonian military? Friendly AC-130 above. <laughs> But me as an infantry communications guy, I never got to do was call in an air support because we don't have air support. I always scored in mortar support and ground support, you know, long range weapons on the ground, but never air support because there is none, there's no one to call. And as a communications guy, I'd be the one to call it and I would so much like to say it on the radio at least once, friendly AC-130 above. I can never say it. Sad moment. US has AC-130s, the angel of death, that's what they call it. And this truly is, it's overpowered, over-weaponized tank of a plane in the air. It can take down anything. I made one video about it already, this is the second one and today we're going to focus on just the clips, how it fires, because it is beautiful my friends, you don't want to miss it. Before we go, there are Patreons I would like to thank. This channel heavily relies on Patreons, sometimes YouTube demonetizes my militarized videos and then the revenue comes from Patreons, so they are the heroes of this channel and truly heroes in my eyes. First of all we have Jeremy Givrant. Givrant. French name, and I'm sure you're American. Second of all, we have Michael J. Rare Hunter. That's a funny name. We sometimes get these funny names on Patreon. I like it. Keep it coming. Thank you, Michael. Last but not least, we have D from Birmingham. That's the name. Thank you, D from Birmingham, for becoming a patron. If you want to support the channel and keep these videos rolling out for you, just become a patron. The link is in the description below. Let's see how the angel of death fires. Oh hell yeah, we're starting with this already. Loving it. Woo! Hey! Oh. The rate of fire is so tight that it makes like a note almost. You could play in that note on a piano. You know the AC-130 note on a piano. You know, something like that. Imagine you're like a bush fighting AK-47 terrorist and you hear planes coming in, you feel a little bit frightened and then you hear in the distance somewhere you hear this. The thing is you wouldn't actually be hearing that because the bullets would be hitting you first and then the sound, if you would be hearing the sound at all, but it would be yeah. The bullets on the ground, then the sound follows a few seconds later because uh, the sound works, travels much slower than the bullets of course. Bush fighting terrorists would not actually get any indication by sound because they would just die first, kinda. Damn it, I wish we had that. How many bullets is that? Ah! That right there, my friends, was 60 to 70 shots a second. That was about 10 seconds. That was 700 shots, my friends. 700. That's as much as you can carry in Call of Duty, which is super unrealistic. And these are not small caliber weapons. This is, if I remember correctly, it's 20 millimeter. It's damn huge. I mean, if you look at those bullets, they're huge. If you can't hold them, they're heavy. They're not light. They're not like these small caliber rounds. They're heavy and big and bulky. But it's quite tuna, the rusket. Let's see, if you truly are a bush fighting terrorist, what would you see up above, if it would be flying up above? If the enemy has an AC-130 above, hey, I always wanted to say that. That's what it looks like. And you can hear it, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, you see the plane, you see the little flashes, yeah, you're minding your own business shooting at US troops, don't really care about it, but suddenly it hits you. These bullets are for you and you're gonna be dead in five seconds. Whew, pretty neat. Let's see what it looks like if it hits the ground. Oh, hey, it's like fireworks on the ground. It is like fireworks on the ground, only a million times more deadly. Oh, it's good tea. We have two more videos. One of you sent me a package, and it's a military package. It has patches, military patches, photos. It's really cool. Let's check it out. One of you military veterans sent me a bag, just like that. And let's see what's in it. Four patches, 49th Operations Group, a Disney gift card, a medallion of 49th Fighter Wing, a letter that looks like a military person wrote it because it looks rattled. I like it. The patch is a group commander patch. 
it says that in the US military, the group commander is not a rank, but a position. So a private could be a group commander in some situations, but in the Navy, it is a rank. So there's that, this is what this says. Thank you for educating me. An Air Force group commander is in charge of the squadrons, and this is a 49th Air Force group patch. Squadron commanders are usually captains. This is a group commander is usually a colonel, just below general, which is a pretty high rank already. And then he wrote out all the schemes, how this squadron and group thing works. Kind of complicated for me, actually. Everything is sent by Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. I see that you're a true military vet. You know your stuff. Thank you for educating me. Now I have 49th Operations Group, which means 49th Fighter Wing and 4th Fighter Wing. I already have two Fighter Wing and I have an Air Force patch also. All of this is sent by military vets in the US, so if you want to send me anything like that, I'd love it. I, you know, I might start collecting it now. Go ahead and send it. The address is right here. You can send me a photo or stories. There is a photo also. I don't know which one is you, because Carrie, because you didn't really, didn't really say it, but I guess that's a, that's a precious memory for you. Thank you, Carrie. I always wondered if you shoot 60 to 70 rounds per second, what would it look like at night? with illumined shots. We call them Trasser in Estonian. Tracer in English, obviously. Yeah, we shot them also. I had my AK-4, we shot them. Sometimes they lit the forest on fire, because if you shoot a tracer round and it falls down to the dry ground, it's still burning. It's like a match. It will start a fire. So if it was really hot in the summer, we actually couldn't shoot the tracer rounds, because fires would start and all the time we had to like, oh, don't shoot, we're putting out the fires again. It happened. Here you can see just roll, I, I would imagine like, like a wall of tracers if, the, if this AC-130 shoots them. Oh! Green, like Matrix. Okay, that's the inside, right? So, all right, this was machine gun, right? They look pretty chill inside that angel of death. It's like, hey, we're having a sip of tea and just shooting some insurgents. Oh! Hell! Oh boy! Okay, that's 120 for sure. There has to be 120 here. They are kind of chill. I mean, there's crazy war going down below. Ground forces are desperately needing air support. They're pinned down like, ah, we need AC-130 above! And these guys are like, yeah, we're sipping tea and shooting enemies and boom, yeah! Yeah, that was a hit. If you ever listen to those uh, radio signals that they have, they are very chill. Even if the craziest fighting is going on and friendlies are getting killed, uh, the radio operators are always very chill and I also had to be, because if you are uh, relaying information, you cannot let emotion get over you. Even if people die, even if your friendlies die, you have to be chill. So sometimes it's very out of place, it's crazy war going on, it's like, that's a hit. Good shooting. Ten dangos down. Just relaying information, it's like robots almost. So I understand why they chose so chill here. The Estonian soldier hat competition. Welcome back, my friends. We had the Estonian YouTuber Cup competition. Texas won, but now we have another competition. Don't let Texas win again, I'm telling you that. Every point will be counted, every name will be named. I'll put them all on the board. As you can see, the Hall of Fame is empty. No names, no points. It is your opportunity to be the first one for your state or your, for your country. There's a country's list also. We already have some orders, but they might not be from your state, so you can be first if you want to. We will have the state of the day, meaning the state that gets the most orders will get a fact about that state in the video. I mean, some days maybe we don't have a state of the day because there's five different orders or something like that. Let's begin. The very first order ever of the Estonian soldier hat goes to... Dustin Shadel. Congratulations, my man. You started the competition. Dustin, you're from Des Moines, Iowa. I know it's not Des Moines, it's Des, Des Moines. I don't know how to say it. When I was in Hollywood, uh, my character was from Des Moines and I, I was from Estonia, you know, I still am. Didn't know how to pronounce it. I said Des Moines in the play, everybody laughed at me. I, I just keep saying it. Today, and it's Cali. Who would have guessed? Well, I guess it's, it is the biggest state. That makes California the state of the day. We will mark it as such and we'll learn one cool fact about it. This green line represents the state of the day honor. 
Only a few states possess it, now only Cali. State of the day fact about California. We all learned something new about the state of the day. The largest tree in the world lives in California. It has a name. It is called General Sherman and it is 5.3 meters in diameter, which is 17.5 foot in diameter. That's like the straight line through it, 17 feet. And it, that, that's a huge damn tree. I could live in that tree. Everything is bigger in Texas except for the trees which, is, which are bigger in California, right? This concludes today's Estonian YouTuber hat competition. Go and get this hat, put your state on the Hall of Fame, be the first one to do it, bring pride to your home state. Back to the video, my friends. Oh, whoo, look at that. Oh boy. Imagine that firing on you. That's five to seven hundred shots right there with a few seconds. That's 120, right? Should be. Oh my god, look. You can see the laser. That's a laser, right? Is there a thing where you can um, point, you have like an infrared laser that anybody, people can't see, but the AC 130 can see them with their technology, the radars? You point it at an enemy, just a laser, right? like the target guiding laser, and the AC-130 sees where the target is. I've heard it's a true thing, I think it, it is in Call of Duty also, so it has to be real. I'd like to see a video about that. If you know it, send it to me, please. I don't know how to search it. You know you can become a member of this channel, right? You can become a soldier, a sergeant, or a general, and you will get an early access to all of my videos if you become a member. Also, you'll get a role in Discord. Uh, I'll give you free stuff there, and also generals, We'll have a chat once a week, like a voice call. You can repair my mistakes I make in these videos. You can put topics up to me. You can just send me, suggest something to me, what do you want. I know you guys know much more about these military stuff than I do, and you want to share it. So um, becoming a general and talking to me on Discord, that's the way to do it. Just become a member if you want to. Let's see some more nightly shots. Oh. Okay. That's 40 millimeter, right? That's how I know which millimeter is it. If it hits like, doof, 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 that's 40. If it's a machine gun, that's 20 millimeter. If it's like one great explosion, should be 120. And the biggest mortar we have in Estonian military is 120, and that's the ground forces. Järgmises videos juba uued relvad, aga seni kavaks nägemist. You guys have that in the air which is insane. Please give us one of the AC-130s. That's all we need in Estonian military. One of those, please. See, that's 40, I think. Yeah, that should be 40. There's lasers, lasers going on again. They look so cool at night. Looks like a Hollywood movie. Nice. See, if you're inside of that blast radius, you're gone. There's not even bits left from you. You're just gone. Red mist. Let's see what it looks like on infrared or heat vision. Okay, they, they see you. I mean, you can't really hide at night or at day. They see you. In the area. Right, I know it's not real, it's, it's a simulation here. They train with it, but still, they talk like that the same way in real life. Very chill, very slowly, very clearly, doesn't matter who dies, who lives. The radio operators are kind of chill. If they lose control, they have to go. This gave me an idea that nothing is hidden from the AC-130's heat vision. You can't hide, or uh, infrared. No way to hide. Night doesn't hide you. Obstacles, maybe. If you have heat protected blanket that just doesn't let any heat out, you can put it over you and they can't see you. But if the ground forces locate you and put the laser on you, you're dead anyway. So there's no hiding from this machine, this plane. That's why we need it. There is no good video about the AC-130 that I haven't seen. So I'm waiting for your input. You can send me videos or um, pictures in Discord also. I could use them in videos if you want to because I would lo love to watch more material about the AC-130. Until the next video, my friends, go and get the stone and soldier hat and put your state on the Hall of Fame. Be the first one to do it because you have the chance once more. Also, become a patron and a member of this channel. And as always, my friends, until my next video, stay cool and bye-bye. Do you think you have everything in life? Do you? Wrong! You don't! 
If Russia attacks Estonia, I'm going to have to take two things to war. First of all, I'll take my weapon. This is my weapon. This is what I'll go with. It doesn't have a magazine because this is not allowed. Second of all, should I take Estonian soldier uniform or Estonian soldier hat? <gasps> I have made my decision. I am ready for war. This is how I will go. See, you don't have everything in your life. You don't have this hat. This hat is amazing. Go and get it. The link is in the description below. Estonia and America need you. You can just get it from my Shopify. It is dead easy. And you know what? It is free shipping. Free shipping? Wow! I'm gonna get 10! Oh, so many hats! I wanna send them all out to you, my friends, and I'll do it for free shipping because I can. And that is a fact. Oh, free shipping! Yeah! You already have a weapon in your you're in America you're only